Hello everyone, this is Vicki Ashard from Nature's Best. Thank you for joining me today. I thought of a fun video that I'd like to do today. It's 10, I thought of 10 things that made me smile this year. And actually, this is my third video and, and you know, I've done this twice now. Uh, 2017, I have pictures on my artist blog uh, about my 10 things that make me smile and that I'm so thankful for. And then I did it last year too. And uh, I actually made a video last year. Uh, and this will be my first one that will be on YouTube also because now we're on YouTube. So um, I'm gonna get right into it. And um, thinking of what made me happy this year, of course, first and foremost is uh, spending time with my husband and you know my grandchildren my four my four my four children my seven grandchildren uh and i did mention some things uh in that you know uh, but now i've i thought of other things too so i'd like to share that with you uh the first one i thought of and these are in no order actually and i wrote wrote some wrote these down so i'll remember but we um, spent some time with my uh, son and his family in Indiana. We went to a corn maze, uh, and it was amazing. Uh, walking through the corn maze, I've never experienced anything like that. Uh, seeing the corn, the corn roots um, are like, like they're really big and around, you know, the corn. The corn is so tall, and I was just at all at how God made those roots and so that the corn would not um, you know fall the roots are heavy and they're they're thick I know I, I tripped on one so I I uh, found out that but that was just amazing to me <clears throat> excuse me uh, the second one I thought of was preparing crafts for my uh, uh, twin grandchildren's teddy bear picnic birthday party uh, my daughter asked me to prepare and uh, I had made some uh, take take home bags for the children that came to the party and uh, inside were uh, I made teddy bears and uh, interchangeable um, bows with velcro that they could play with later and uh, a paper that had a teddy bear song on it and crayons so that was a lot of fun uh, the third thing I thought of was uh, we really enjoyed our time at the Lloyd A. Stage Nature Center in Troy uh, this past year at, at a fundraiser. My uh, four children uh, loved the Nature Center. Three of them went from kindergarten to fifth grade and they became junior naturalists and I just loved uh, visiting uh, the Nature Center again, seeing some people that I haven't seen for a while, and just enjoying walking around the Nature Center. It, it was just so nice. Um, the other thing that uh, I really enjoyed is uh, painting an Althea flower this year. I'll show you. Um, my mother's name was Althea, and we have these uh, bushes we have. Let me see them. There you go. That's my Althea flower. And um, we have uh, seven bushes in our backyard uh, that are Althea uh, bushes, and it reminds me of my mom. So it really makes me happy that I did that this past year. Um, the other um, thing that I thought of, my fifth thing, is my Let's Paint series. I've painted about 14 pictures um, and I'm sharing that with you hoping that you know you can paint along with me um, I'll show you a few uh, one of them was uh, a vase of flowers we did that together and this is all on my artist blog if you're interested in wanting to do that and then this one was we painted pumpkins leaves and acorns and uh, so those are just a few of the 14 uh, that we painted. And I plan to do that next year too. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and, and actually the last three were on, uh, on YouTube too.
Um, so the sixth thing was our spring break trip that we took to Washington, D.C. with our daughter and family. It was wonderful. Um, my grandson said he wanted to spend uh, actually a month there. Uh, we went to so many places. We went to, um, the, you know, we saw the Washington Monument. We went to all the museums, uh, the John F. Kennedy Memorial, uh, everywhere that you can imagine. And uh, it, it was just so much fun. You know, when your kids uh, uh, leave the house, they get married and have their own families. It's just, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see them again. What, what, we've, de what we've decided to do is uh, make it a tradition to uh, take turns with each child and their families and go on um, trips. So uh, that's just one of the, the times that you can you share with your family. So they're not going to be gone forever, don't worry. So um, the, the seventh thing is decluttering my craft room one project at a time. That really made me smile. If you remember, if you've been following me on my artist blog, I actually wanted to do five projects um, using up materials in my craft room, creating something um, so that I don't have so much in the craft room. You, I'm sure you all know what, what, what I mean if you're crafters. And um, so I, was, I wanted to do five projects. I'm actually on my seventh one of which uh, I'll probably show in a couple weeks because it's one of my Christmas cards uh, that I created and uh, I took materials that I had in my craft room and uh, it's going to be I think a nice Christmas card this year. So my eighth um, uh, thing that I thought about that made me smile is all the vegetables that I've been eating this year. I just love vegetables uh, with pinto beans uh, that I make and um, on corn tortillas. Now uh, what you do with the corn tortillas, you actually um, fry, put them in a little bit of olive oil and, you know, and maybe an iron skillet and turn them over once and that really brings out that corn tortilla flavor and it makes them really good. My husband will um, put some chicken in his and cheese. Um, I'm a vegan so I don't do that but I, I just love the combination of those vegetables and the pinto beans. Um, it, I, we just have been really loving that this year. It's one of our favorite dishes this year. So then my ninth um, uh, thing that I thought of is preparing food with my husband for a mom's playgroup. We actually had two playgroups, um, mom's playgroups at our home this year. And I just love to visit with moms. I love, I love the children in my home. And um, so everyone loved the food and, and it was a lot of fun. And I actually am uh, going to tell you this recipe uh, that I made. Uh, let me get it. Let's see here. It's, uh, well, here, let me show you what I made. I actually made some this morning. Can you see this? Yeah, there you go. So, um, so like this one here. See, it looks like a cupcake, and children love this. It's uh, I call it macaroni and cheese puffs because it's not like in a whole bowl, you know. It's, um, it's, it's baked in a cupcake pan. And they really enjoyed them. And I actually have uh, three events coming up uh, in, the in the next month that I'm going to make these um, for. Excuse me, just a minute. <clears throat> mm. This is uh, my tea, my um, green tea, and my mint tea that I really enjoy. Um, but the, the recipe is this. It's two cups macaroni, two tablespoons butter, four and a half uh, tablespoons of flour. Did I say two? Yeah, two tablespoons of butter, four and a half tablespoons flour, three-fourths cup milk, an eight ounce of shark cheddar cheese grated, or you can use two cheeses that you like combination together, or just one. Um, and then the topping is, uh, I, I um, put one cup, uh, I made one cup of bread crumbs in my blender. Uh, with two tablespoons of melted butter on top so it gets it really nice and crispy. So what you do is you cook your two cups of macaroni and you drain it and rinse it. And then you combine in a saucepan, I use the Teflon so that it wouldn't stick, <clears throat> excuse me, on a wooden, wooden spoon, two tablespoons butter, four and a half tablespoons flour, and then when that gets uh, all together and melted, 
you put you, you, a three-fourths cup milk <clears throat> excuse me you start um, adding the milk and uh, you stir that around uh, as it is uh, you know gain hot and then your sh sharp cheddar your eight ounces of sharp cheddar and that'll melt into it then of course you put it with your your macaroni uh, and um, then you put it in 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 the uh, the cupcake pans now I, I do want to let you know that I used uh, this here this is um, the uh, canola oil spray just so it doesn't stick you know on your uh, on your pan on your cupcake pan and then um, you put your uh, your bread crumbs on each one of them, and then your, you you put the melted butter on each one of them. You bake at 350 for about 15 minutes, um, and uh, then then I let them sit, uh, and, and then I take them out with a plastic uh, fork and knife, and uh, put them on, on the plate. And now the recipe that I <coughs> excuse me made these originally. For the mom's play group, I could not find, and that's just unlike me. It's uh, I have all my, um, you know, my recipes together. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. I'll, it'll show up. But um, I went to another cookbook of mine. It was a fundraiser that um, was put together. Uh, actually, it was from my. Uh, I was I was a nurse's aide at one point in my lifetime and um, it was my supervisor's recipe and she had put I mean you can do this uh, for children I, I don't know if I put the onion in but she had put onion half a small grated onion in it and she added uh, let's see oh half a teaspoon powdered mustard which looks it sounds pretty interesting but I, I didn't put that but um, anyway so I'm glad I made that because uh, this morning because I I, and I found that recipe. I, I knew I had that recipe from my, my supervisor, but I couldn't uh, uh, find that other one, but I'm glad I had that. So um, then my, let's see, it was that, that was nine. Okay, one more. Oh, this one was so much fun, and it just made me smile so much. Uh, my husband and I went to, uh, uh, on a trip up north, Michigan, last year, or this year, and um, it was the Sleeping Bear Dunes area and in Frankfurt, uh, Michigan. And we just, that's our favorite area. Uh, and and um, he really got into photography. And before that, he did not like to take pictures at all. I mean, he almost refused to just take pictures. But he really got into it this year and it was, it was just a lot of fun to watch. So those are my 10 top picks. Um, I did think of one other thing that really uh, I'm so excited about. It made me smile. I am so happy about it. But I'm going to save that to tell you about that. Hopefully in the spring. Um, it's going to be a three-part uh, video and uh, three, three different videos on it. Um, and I'll, I'll just save that for next year. So stay tuned. Um, but I, I just hope that you also have 10 things that make you happy this year and that you can be thankful for. And um, I just hope that this video made you smile. And uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please share it with a friend. So uh, until next time, happy creating.